Hey guys, it's Loves to Loom here, and today I'll be showing you how to make this really awesome Cobb Cabana bracelet. This bracelet was designed by Suzanne HB, and she's on Instagram as Crazy Just Might Work. I've done previous tutorials for her and have some more coming up in the future. Please give her a follow. She has super awesome designs, um, and you will definitely love them. Um, so as you can see here, this bracelet is super awesome, and it's definitely unique. Um, it is not the gumdrop design, I, although it may look a little similar to it. I can assure you it is done completely different. Um, you're actually going to probably be quite amazed at how easy this bracelet is to make, which is a big bonus. Um, so... To make this bracelet, you need approximately 100 bands. And without further ado, let's get started. To make this bracelet, you will want to have one loom, one C clip, and your hook. For the setup of your loom, remove the middle bar pin and have the two end bar pins aligned with your arrows facing you. We will be working with the, two, uh, the four bottom pins right here in the shape of a rectangle. Uh, for the bands, you will want approximately 100 depending on your wrist size, and we recommend using one jelly type band with a regular opaque type band. It just makes the effect a little bit better. So with that being said, we're going to lay our first jelly band. Um, it will take a couple layers before you see the pattern because we need to lay a couple jellies to get it started. So we're going to lay one jelly going horizontal like this, and we need to get it... Um, on all four pins but twist it so we're going to grab the back uh, band here stretching it down to the right and giving it a little twist to create the loop effect on the corners and we're going to do the same on the left side so grab the band in the middle here pull it to the left and twist to the right so that it loops around that left side you can push that down a little bit now we're going to lay a rectangle with one uh, jelly just going around all four pins like that. And now we're going to go ahead and bring that bottom layer up and over. So it's just one single band on all four pins that you're just bringing up and over. Just like that. And now we're going to lay one more layer of the jelly, and the way that we're going to do this is actually the way that we're going to be doing it for the rest of the bracelet. So we're going to lay four of them. We're going to lay two vertical, so one on the right and one on the left. And now we're going to lay two horizontal, so one on top and one on the bottom. So it's basically out, whoops, outlining that uh, rectangle. Now we're going to remove the bottom layer again. Still only one band coming up and over all four of those corners or pins. Just like that, push your bands down and now we're going to lay our white. Now for the white bands we're going to be using two of them every time and we will always be laying them the same way so we're just going to lay it in the shape of a rectangle going around all four pins. So your white will always be laid like this and now we're going to bring the bottom up and over. There should now be two bands coming up and over on all four pins. And it will always be two for now on coming up and over, no matter which color you're looping. So go ahead and bring them over like that. Push it down a little bit. We're going to go back to our green jelly and lay that again. So two vertical and two horizontal like so and now we're going to go ahead and bring the bottom up and over which will now be white coming over and it is two bands on all four pins make sure you do not forget to bring any over push them down and now we're going to lay on our white again which again is two bands stretching around all four pins to make that rectangle and now we're going to bring the bottoms up and over again. And this is actually what you do the entire time as far as the laying and looping goes. This is the shape and the number of bands we'll be doing. So now we're going to lay one more layer and then I'm going to show you something we have to do, which is what really makes this bracelet, which is so super clever. I can't believe she thought of it. So kudos to her. All right, so uh, laying our four jellies again, bringing the uh, four 
corners up and over. And now push your bands down. And now what we're going to do is actually turn this bracelet inside out. So instead of it growing down through the bottom like it normally does, we're going to actually push it so that it comes up. So hold on to your bands, guys. I cannot stress this enough. They will pop off. So hold on tightly. And with your other hand, we need to push. There's like a nub under here. You need to get directly under that, holding on to it with your other hand, and push up. And just push like really hard so that it faces the other direction. As you can see, a little nub popped up. It's not going to be very big right now because we don't have that much bracelet. Um, but you can just give it a little squeeze. And voila! Now our bracelet will continue to grow up instead of down. And it's inside out, which makes the Cobb Cabana bracelet. Um, and then, of course, there is the stretching. That is what really actually makes the design. But for now, let's go ahead and keep laying our bands. So, again, two whites are going to stretch around like so. And just keep bringing the bottoms up and over. And keep alternating from your jellies to your whites. Like that. Push it down. Once again, we're going to hold on to our bands. Grab that little piece of nub there. I call it a nub. <laughs> it reminds me of a little nub. And I uh, just pull up on it. Just like that. And it's going to continue to get uh, bigger and bigger. But I'll tell you what to do in a minute there. So it is going to kind of get in the way. But it's not too much of a problem right now. So just bring your corners up and over again. Push it down. I usually... Um, lay two layers before I pull up on it just because one layer doesn't really grow that much so I'll lay my jellies then my whites and then I'll pull up and then I just so basically every two times just don't forget to hold on to those bands so I'm going to go ahead and pull up again and you can see it actually starts to like sink back in there so we don't want that so we'll just grab it and pull up So yeah, just going to do that again, laying our white. Now we may, this may get in the way now, but let's see if it does. It does a little bit, um, but it wasn't too bad that time. So the next time I lay the white, I'm going to actually show you another way you can lay it on. The green jelly is easier to lay. Okay, so you can also, if it starts getting bothersome, you can just kind of go over like that. If it starts getting in your way too much, and then loop it. So don't just, just don't forget to keep pulling on that as you go. Um, and you don't have to pull super tight right now if you don't want to you'll see the difference though like I pulled really tight here so it's like tighter and here's a little thicker but at the end we're going to stretch it all out really good so it'll all fall into place um, but for now guys I'm gonna go off camera and just uh, pretty much keep making my bracelet because I wanted to get long enough to show you how to keep working that white on because as it gets longer, it can get a lot harder to get that weight on there. So I'll just go off camera and do that. And then I'll come back and show you guys how to work the weight around the growing bracelet. Um, but if you have not picked up the pattern as far as laying the bands and looping, please feel free to rewind the previous instructions. But once again, you're literally just laying your 
four outer green jellies, looping, and then laying your doubled whites um, in the shape of a triangle. I mean, oh God, a rectangle. So just keep alternating and you should be fine. I'll be right back once I have reached the uh, desired length of my bracelet. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, because um, mine's getting pretty long here, in case anyone's ha having a hard time, um, a way to get it around this since it's getting like super long. Um, what we do, Suzanne showed me to just stretch out with your four fingers, you just stretch out your whites, and you basically find the end of your bracelet, and you just go like this and just slide it up that long part of the bracelet. And if you need to drop it here so you can use your fingers because I know it pushes the loom away, then you can just grab the other side and put it on like that. Um, or, I'm going to take that off. Or if it's easier for you, I mean it's pretty much the same thing, but just slide it up and then you can just kind of hold the loom with your fingers and stretch it around like that. So I basically just wanted to show you how to, <clears throat> excuse me, how to stretch it out and just go up it like that. So that's all you need to do. But you're just going to keep doing that process until you think it's long enough. I'm going to go back off camera. I just wanted to show you that in case anyone was having a hard time. And um, once I finish the length of my bracelet, I'll come back and show you how to close it up. It's super duper easy. Um, and don't worry if it looks a little funny. We can fix it at the end. But the key for this bracelet is the stretching. It, that's what makes this really super cool effect. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I did finish uh, the length of my bracelet. It is a little smaller than I normally do because I'm giving it to my son. Um, but I want to go ahead and show you how to close it up. It's so super easy. You just want to make sure that the last color on your pins is your white. Um, just kind of push the length of the bracelet down or up just so it's out of the way. We are going to carefully remove the very top right uh, bands and bring it down to the bottom pin. So I like to actually hold it right here with my pointer finger. Take those two bands off of the top right pin and just bring it right down on top of the uh, bottom pin. We're going to do the same on the left side. So just remove those bands and bring them forward. So now we should have four bands total on these two sides. Now we're just going to grab the bottom two bands on the bottom and bring it up and over. Doing the same on the left side. Bring it up and over. And now I like to actually pull down on my bracelet. It kind of tucks that in there. And now we're just going to bring the left side over to the right side. Just be careful not to lose your bands like I almost did. And now we can just add on our C-clip, which I think I misplaced mine. So just slide your hook down in there. I found my C-clip, by the way. And... Just going to pop that C clip on there. You could take it off your loom and do it, or you can do it on the loom, whatever's easier. Just make sure you get it around all four of those uh, bands. Slide your hook out, and now you can remove it from the loom. Just make sure that you have that C clip around all those bands. And now the most important part. Is just stretching it out. So just kind of go down the length of the bracelet and give it a nice tug, which really makes that super cool effect. I just think this is so unique. Um, but you can hook it together by going down the other end. Doesn't really matter which band you grab on this side. I just grab any two of them. You can just use your fingers. Preferably the inside though, because there's outside bands. Grab two of the inside bands and just hook it on like that. So there you have the completed Cobb Cabana bracelet. So I think it's really cool and unique. Again, this uh, design was created by Suzanne HB also known as Crazy This Might Work on Instagram. 
um, definitely check her out and give her a follow. She's always coming out with something new and unique. I will have more tutorials from her uh, for you to come. So keep an eye out on my channel. You can also look at me on Instagram at Love Saloon. Uh, but definitely kudos to her for this super cool unique bracelet. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. So thank you so much for watching my tutorial, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye!